how to strip down a club car precedent for installing double take body kits. To remove the factory top, first remove the hardware securing the top to the front frame. Next, remove the hardware connecting the top to the rear drain supports. You can now fully remove the top. Remove the factory seat back cushion by removing the two hex screws located on the back of the back rack assembly. If you plan on reinstalling the factory seat back cushion, you will need to set aside the factory hardware and save for later. Remove the back rack assembly by removing the four bolts securing it to the golf cart. Next, remove the two inside side bolts that secure the rear top supports. Remove any additional golf course accessories, such as sand bottle holders, cooler brackets, etc. By removing the two screws on both sides of the back rack assembly, if there are no accessories, you must still remove these two screws on each side to release the bag rack assembly. You should now be able to remove the bag rack assembly as a complete unit. Remove the bag rack supports by removing the last two bolts securing them to the car. Remove the screws from the dash cap to release the front cap. Save the hardware. Now remove the factory front cowl by easing away from under the dash cap. Remove the dash cap if you plan on installing a double take sentry dash. Make sure the run tow switch is in the tow position to cut off the electric power. Remove the forward reverse switch by removing the two T30 screws securing it to the rear body. Use needle nose pliers to remove the connectors from the FR switch. Make a note of the position of the brown, red, and blue wires for later reinstallation. Also remove the forward, reverse switch, screw clips from the body as well. Save the forward, reverse switch, and hardware for reinstallation. Remove the four battery compartment screws that fasten the factory rear body to the car. Save the hardware. Next, pry the factory rear body from the car. Remove the side trim on both sides of the car by first removing the bolt that secures the frame cap to the side trim. Save the hardware. 
Then remove the two floorboard screws on each side of the car that secure the side trim to the floorboard and save the hardware. Remove the side trim from the car by prying it away from the mounting clips. Save for later. Remove the floorboard mat and save it for later reinstallation. It may also require cleaning. Remove the factory bumper by removing the five screws that fasten it to the chassis. Save hardware. Save the bumper for later reinstallation if you don't plan to incorporate an optional light bar kit. Remove the factory fender by first removing all the screws along the fender on the underside of the car. Partially loosen, but not remove, the front frame bolts on both sides of the car. Then temporarily remove the screws along the front edge of the inner cowl to help release the factory fender. Remove the factory fender, then use the removed cowl screws to refasten the inner cowl again. Remove the factory windshield by gently prying it away from the plastic frame clips. Then remove the plastic frame clips. Now it's time to wash and clean the golf car to prepare for body kit installation. Double take, because looks matter.